we are to find the solution to this problem. What should be our approach? Step 1. Understand the problem. Note the given information. Identify the angle whose angle measurement you are required to find. We note that the measurements of four angles are given, of which two of them are right angles. What is the angle whose angle measurement we are required to find? It is angle DGE. Let's mark out this angle in the given diagram. How do we find this angle measurement? Let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Extract as much information as possible from the given diagram and information. Angle DGE is one of the angles of triangle DEG. What information do we need to help us find the angle measurement of angle DGE in triangle DEG? Recall the property. The sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Angles EDG and DEG are the other two angles in triangle DEG. How do you find the angle measurements of these two angles? Take a look at this set of angles. What have you observed? These three angles are angles on the straight line CDEF. Recall the property. The sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Angle EDG is one of these angles. So we would have no problems finding the angle measurements of angle EDG. There is another set of angles on the straight line CDEF. Angle DEG is one of these angles. So we would have no problems finding the angle measurements of angle DEG. Now that we know how the angles are linked to each other, we can proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Based on how the angles are linked to each other, work out the solution. We can start with finding the angle measurements of angle EDG. Angle EDG is one of the three angles on the straight line CDEF. The other two angles are 63 degrees and 90 degrees. Based on the property, the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees, we write angle EDG is equal to 180 degrees minus 63 degrees minus 90 degrees. This is equal to 27 degrees. Let's indicate the angle measurements of angle EDG in the diagram. Now, angle DEG and angle GEF are angles on the straight line CDEF. Based on the property, the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees, we write angle DEG is equal to 180 degrees minus 58 degrees. This is equal to 122 degrees. Let's indicate the angle measurements of angle DEG in the diagram. Now that we have found the angle measurements of angles EDG and DEG, we will be able to find the angle measurement of angle DGE. Based on the property, the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we write angle DGE is equal to 180 degrees minus 27 degrees minus 122 degrees. This is equal to 31 degrees. Is our answer correct? Let's proceed to the next step to find out. Step 4. Check back. Verify the result using another method of solution. Let us verify the angle measurement of angle DGE using another method of solution. Take a look at triangle DGE. Notice that angle DGF is the sum of angles DGE and EGF. If we know the angle measurement of angle EGF, 
we would be able to find the angle measurement of angle DGE. So we need two pieces of information, angle measurements of angle DGF and angle EGF. What is the angle measurement of angle DGF? Based on the property, the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we will be able to find its angle measurement. So angle DGF is equal to 180 degrees minus 27 degrees minus 90 degrees. This is equal to 63 degrees. What is the angle measurement of angle EGF? Based on the property, the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we will be able to find its angle measurement. So angle EGF is equal to 180 degrees minus 58 degrees minus 90 degrees. This is equal to 32 degrees. Now let's find the angle measurement of angle DGE. That would be 63 degrees minus 32 degrees. This is equal to 31 degrees. Hence, we have verified that our answer is correct. Bravo! We have solved the problem.